Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my uh, traditional wet shaving videos. This is Sean here. Uh, great to see you. Great to be uh, back with you. Today I have uh, decided to uh, review this. The uh, Platinum Collection Shaving Cream from uh, Tale of Old Bond Street. It's uh, a very fine, uh, soft, subtle uh, cream with a soft, subtle scent. And... Uh, Personally, it's not one of my uh, favorite shaving creams out there, but uh, it still delivers um, superior performance. So, um, I'll get into the uh, shave with you right now. So for today's shave, I'm going to be uh, using this for, as my brush, my uh, trusty Vylon uh, horsehair brush. So I'll get started right away. I've decided not to use any uh, pre-shave uh, lotion. I'll just go right to the shave. Okay. So this is uh, this amount here is always uh, good enough. You can either apply it to your face or personally, I like to uh, mix it up in my. Uh, Shaving mug right here. Yeah, it usually takes about a minute or two to mix this up. Find the right consistency. So how is everybody today? Well, it's Friday, so um, the start of a nice weekend. Although, where I am right now, it's rain's going to be in the forecast. So I guess uh, it really depends on where you live. Okay. I think I found the right thickness right here. So I'll uh, rinse my face off and get started. Just the right amount of hot water does the trick to uh, open up those pores. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Now for today's shade, I'm going to be using this. For the first time I feature this in a video, the Mulo R41, paired with a feather blade. So, uh, yeah, real bad boy here. And uh, I do expect to uh, receive the closest of a straight razor. So, let's dig in. Be a first path, first pass with the grain. Yes, with the Amila R41, you always want to be uh, very gentle. Just, uh, gentle as uh, petting your uh, dog or cat with your face, along your face, of course. Yeah, I think uh, I added just a little too much water to uh, the lather here. Doesn't uh, have that thickness, but uh, I'll evaluate the uh, performance uh, once I'm done with the shave. Yeah, so I was reading that uh, this scent has uh, a woods, no, not a woodsy, but uh, a nice uh, oriental, oriental kind of scent uh, with uh, notes of sandalwood and uh, bergamot. And a little bit of uh, lavender. Now, I'm not really uh, keen on sandalwood myself, but um, every, of course, everybody has their present preference of uh, scents. Some find uh, sandalwood to be uh, quite masculine. I find it to be uh, a little too sweet for my liking. Uh, then again, that's just me. Yeah, so while you're shaving with a Mule R41, no pressure. As I've mentioned in my uh, video uh, featuring the Mule R41. I find, uh, I think, uh, some of these uh, reviews about this uh, particular razor to be a bit overblown with uh, the dangers uh, presented and explained, but, um, you know, you always got to be careful while shaving. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. First pass done. I'll rinse off and begin with the second. Okay, here we go. It'll lather up for uh, pass number two. This size, go in a nice circular fashion, and then you start lather, applying lather to the face, just to exfoliate your cheeks. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Wow. Uh, shaving cream flying everywhere. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to go cross grain. Yeah. I really have to say. The Mila R41 uh, performs very well. Yeah, especially paired with a feather blade, I expect my uh, face to feel uh, silky smooth by the time I'm done. Yeah, I think I'm thinking about uh, possibly Purchasing an adjustable razor like the Mer the Merker Future, the Parker variant, just to uh, demonstrate in future videos. Or the uh, Rockwell Six. Yeah, I keep uh, finding excellent reviews about reviews about those uh, particular uh, razors on the uh, men's grooming online uh, grooming uh, store I shop through here in Canada, fenderhen.ca. As a matter of fact, um, I'm a particular loyal customer towards them. And they have a rewards program too.
Yes, yeah, so if you're um, interested in, in more in uh, finding out what their products are, uh, I can spell out the uh, web address for you. It's F E N D R I H A N dot C A. You can also go to fendrahen.com if uh, you're in the States. And they have their own uh, particular uh, line of uh, products, like shaving creams, brushes. If you're interested in checking those out. Okay, here we go. I'll uh, rinse off and get ready for pass number three. Yeah, I think many of you uh, who shave with the Mula R41 would uh, quit around the second pass because it brings uh, ultimate uh, closeness. But uh, me, I like to go the extra mile. Go, I dare to uh, shave against the grain with this razor. I like the uh, ultimate closeness that it can bring. All right. Okay, I'm all set. You know, I just feel, like, feel as if uh, I've walked out right out of a barber shop by the time I'm done.
Hmm. Yeah. This is pretty aggressive, I have to admit. By far the most aggressive razor I have in my collection. Which is why I, I admire it so much. Now, I'm gonna quit right after this, because I wouldn't, I would never dare to uh, do a uh, fourth pass with this. I certainly would never employ the uh, buffing technique with the Mule R41. Because it's just so aggressive. Just quickly uh, go over any uh, rough spots here. My, some of my tricky places. good enough. Okay, I'll go ahead and rinse off and uh, apply the aftershave afterwards. Now for today's aftershave, I'll use this DR Harris uh, Arlington. I find this uh, scent to be the most compatible 
in my opinion, with uh, Tale of Old Bond Street's Platinum uh, collection. So I'll just draw my face here. Okay, take some of this. Yeah, the uh, sense between this and uh, what I just shaved with uh, are very similar. Sweet and subtle. There we go. Okay, so there you have it. Ta-da. Well, that was a pleasant shave. So um, my uh, overall opinion about uh, this shaving cream, it's subtle. Um, here in Canada, you can buy it for $30. Although, uh, personally, I think it's uh, a little overpriced. There are um, several other uh, creams from Taylor Old Bond Street uh, that are just as effective as this, and uh, you get for you get uh, more uh, pleasant scents for uh, less price. So um, I guess it just uh, depends on uh, the kind of ingredients that are uh, incorporated into uh, each tub. I know they're uh, full of glycerin, which uh, helps the skin, and uh, it's a natural byproduct too, so uh, that goes a long way. And um, yeah, so still gives uh, excellent slickness, and uh, yeah, even high. I have to agree, I look handsome. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Uh, I hope uh, you found this video to be uh, very helpful. Um, I hope you um, employ some of the uh, techniques that I've used. And uh, if you consider of uh, purchasing this uh, particular scent of a shaving cream, uh, by me all means, don't let my uh, opinion, don't let my... Uh, words and opinions uh, affect uh, your decision. It's up to you. Um, you're the consumer. And I encourage you to uh, explore uh, the various kinds of uh, creams and soaps and brushes, razors, etc. that are out there f for you. And um, yeah, basically that's it. Okay, I um, wish you a wonderful day. Have uh, excellent shaves, and uh, I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye.